we're between Fort Sumner uh, to the north and then Roswell to the south. We were kind of going after the storm to the south and then this developing storm right in between caught our attention. So we stopped, we watched it. Uh, it's a nice little tightly wound. I don't want to call it a low precipitation supercell, but it's kind of a small supercell. It's tightly wound and it had an attempt. Put a nice little circulation there. I mean, tried to spin something up. Right now it does look, it's, it's kind of shrinking and weakening visually and on radar. The storm to the south has also weakened a bit, uh, but we've got these new storms erupting to the north. So possibly back toward Fort Sumner. Colin and uh, Charlie are back loading up the car. So we're gonna make some moves here uh, after this storm. Look at the Momatis back here. Just turning into a really amazing scene right now. Momatis, lightning from the storm to the south. Got this shriveling storm to the west and the new storms off to the north, which I think we're probably gonna go get in front of. up on the storm that's east of Roswell now. We went off to the north storm, looked pretty messy, turned back around, went south. Both storms produced tornadoes while we were in the sunny blue skies between them. North storm's dead, this one lives on, so it's kind of a race to get back ahead of it before sunset and or storm weekends. It's so tall. God dang this rain. For manual. Tornado roping out in there. You can kind of see it through the rain. Really, really see it. 